looking for a cool summer salad idea. Who isn't, okay? Today, Sean Styles, he's putting his twist on the wedge salad in this Cooking with Styles. Summertime is perfect for salads, and this particular dressing, a Parmesan black pepper dressing, is a great way to go and an excellent alternative to blue cheese. Let's get cooking with style. Some of the tricks about making a crispy salad, especially iceberg, is peeling back some of the outer layers, and I know this is kind of wasteful. Just get rid of that. We're gonna trim off the end, but not too much. We just wanna get rid of that little oxidation right there. So we get that, so we got the nice little crisp end. The other part is, See this water bath I've got it in? This is ice. Now this is to kind of accelerate what we do in restaurants. They'll have a nice bin of ice cold water. And what I want you to do is go ahead and cut your iceberg into quarters. And unless you serve this right away, it's gonna start to wilt because you're cutting all these cells open. And we're just gonna put it down in this ice cold water like that and let that rest a little bit. And while that rests, I'm gonna make my dressing, which is super simple. It is so simple, I can't even begin to tell you. So, let's start with the main ingredients, the show stoppers here. We've got some mayonnaise. You can use olive oil mayonnaise, you can use regular mayonnaise. It, it really doesn't matter, because the flavor in this is going to come from the Parmesan cheese. We're gonna take some buttermilk. We're gonna drop that in. We're gonna put about uh, three quarters of a cup. If you like it thicker, don't put in as much. Parmesan cheese, we're gonna go with at least a half a cup, but if you want more, put in more. And of course, the other part of this ingredient is black pepper. Coarse ground, fresh ground black pepper. We're putting in about a tablespoon, okay? Take this and we're gonna whisk it up. And this is kind of like uh, blue cheese in a way, but not that strong blue cheesy flavor. Give it a good whisk, and if you're gonna serve this right away, go for it. If not, put it in the refrigerator and then let it chill down a little bit. All right, so back to our lettuce. If you have a salad spinner, it's gonna make this a lot easier. You're just gonna take your salad, a couple of your wedge heads, put them so the open side faces out, and we're gonna spin this, because we're gonna get as much water off as we can. Start out slow. And come back the other way. I'm pretty sure everyone knows how to spin a salad, but just in case you don't, there you go. And you can see how much water came out right there as I take these towels off the table. Now we're gonna plate this up. We'll take the nice wedge, put it right in the center. We'll take our dressing. And just like they would if it was blue cheese, we're gonna put it right over the top. And don't be shy with this, because this dressing is really where it's all happening. We're gonna take some fresh chives that we've chopped up. If you have these in your garden, you're good to go. A Little bit of fresh chives over the top. Now, you know what they say about bacon, it makes everything better, but in this instance, we're just going with the chives. So that is our elegant summer salad that can get a meal going just about any time. If you'd like this recipe or all the ones we're doing here on Cooking with Sal's, go to cbs8.com slash recipes. That's casual elegance in Cooking with Style.